Welcome to the complete sales funnel course for beginners. During this video, we will learn more about sales funnels, what they are, the different type of sales funnel, and uh, the structure, how you can create them, how you can create, for example, chain funnels, different funnels in a row to have the maximum success rate and also I will teach you some advanced tips about each of these type of funnels so you get the maximum conversion rate Damn! so if you're new here and if you like this type of content don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any question or any suggestion for me leave it down in the comments so if you're ready let's begin all right so First of all, let's talk about sales funnels, what they are. Before we get there, well, in English, what is the meaning of funnel? This is a funnel, okay? So you put something in it, uh, the, the other side is narrower and uh, give you the same thing, but sometimes it filters depending on the funnel and so on. Anyway, this is the funnel that we have. Now, a sales funnels is when you create a system, okay? You design a system to get the traffic, a lot of traffic right at the beginning, and then give you a smaller amount, but customers, okay? So you put people, users, viewers, subscribers, followers into a sales funnel, and from the other side, you get customers. For example, if you direct, let's say, 10,000 users into a sales funnel, maybe from the other end you get, for example, 50 customers, okay, who bought your product, depending on the product, depending on the funnel itself. Um, and every funnel, uh, right now we mention it sales funnel, but we have different type of funnels, okay? For example, we have funnels that capture only emails, or let's say phone number. We have funnels that uh, is, um, going to sell the product that you have so it is a sales funnel we're going to talk about each type as we go forward there are different types and in each category again we have uh, different versions of each funnel with different purposes and goals okay so before we want to design a sales funnel we need to understand what is our goal okay this is important I'm going to mention these things right now and on the other lectures as we go on, we just focus on each funnel, okay? So the very important thing before you think about creating a funnel is the goal, okay? Why do you want this funnel? What is the main goal out of this funnel? For example, you wanna sell the product, what product you want to sell, how much is the price, depending on the price, depending on the type of the product, you should select different funnels, okay? Uh, so most people in marketing, most marketers don't know about the it or they don't pay attention to these things. But now we are going to learn all of them. So the first, the very first important is to know what is your goal. Do you want to just capture email leads? And again, you must have these things in your mind, these plans in your mind or in your marketing plan that, all right, I'm going to create a funnel that I'm gonna drive a lot of traffic to it from, for example, Instagram, from Facebook, okay? Or maybe from Facebook ads and YouTube, other places, okay? I'm gonna drive the traffic in this funnel and let's say here we have the funnel. And from here, I'm gonna capture email leads, okay? Email leads. And what I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna do email marketing, okay? email marketing and put these people into another funnel where I'm going to sell my product okay so as we go forward the more you learn about sales funnels you will be able to design a funnel like this design different funnels uh, in a row that they complete each other to the final goal that you have, okay? So, in general, that's all about the definition of sales funnel, okay? You drive a lot of traffic toward a system, and that system will have a conversion rate. For example, um, it depends, but usually a conversion rate between, for, 
for example, let's say 5 to 15% is a good conversion rate. But there are a lot of theories about it depending on the product, depending on the price. If your price product is $2, well, 5% is not going to be enough depending on the amount of the people who, whom you are going to drive or if it is 15%. Okay, so there are different theories, but I usually um, do my work around these numbers. Usually if I have, for example, 12, 13, 14, or 15 percent conversion rate, uh, it means that I'm making money and it is good. Okay, so that was all about the uh, sales funnel. What is sales funnel? On the next lecture, we are going to talk about the different categories that we have. And after that, we are going to learn each type of funnels very deep and focused okay so that was all and if you are ready let's go for the next lecture all right so in this part we are going to take a look at different categories of funnels that we have and again inside each of these categories we have different types but right now let's just talk about the categories so we have the first one which is the most famous one i'm sure you have saw this funnel thousands of times if you have used the internet. So the first one is lead, okay? Lead funnels and um, inside lead funnels, I'm just gonna mention the types. So inside lead funnels we have squeeze page funnel, okay? Squeeze page funnel. Then we have application, um, application funnel, okay, um, okay. this is lead. Um, let me just explain quickly what is lead. Uh, it's for a time that you don't want to sell a product, but you want to capture information. As I mentioned, it can be, for example, email. It can be phone number, okay, and so on, or other information which is valuable for your business and later you are going to use it, okay? So when you want to do one of these things, uh, when you want to capture one of these information, you must use lead funnels, okay? Let's go for the next one. Okay, this was number one, this is number two. Here we have sales funnels, okay? And under sales funnels, we have uh, three different types. Number one is trip wire funnel, okay? Then we have sales letter funnel. And finally, we have PLF or product um, launch funnel, okay? Product launch funnel. So these are the three different type of sales funnels. Um, we are gonna have one lecture about each of them. For example, um, the tripwire funnel, funnel is for cheaper, pro uh, cheaper products. This one is, uh, well, for example, between $10 to $100, and the next one is uh, for more expensive products. Anyway, don't worry about it, we will get to these. But the second type is sales funnels, when you want to sell a product directly. Okay, You are driving traffic from a source, and you want to sell them a product, and you don't what you are well you will capture the information for example you will capture the email you will capture the phone for example but you are also going to make money out of it okay because you are selling something here the conversion rate will be lower here the conversion rate will be higher okay uh, in a moment i'm going to explain uh, more about each of these and connect them together for you to understand it better but before that let's Go on with the third type, which is event funnels, okay? And event funnels, uh, it has two versions. One of them is 
webinars and the other one is also webinars okay so why do we need these uh, why do we need these three type of funnels how we can use them where we should use them I'm just gonna give you some general information um, so you get a better image uh, from all these three together so let's say uh, in the previous lecture I mentioned that generally when you want to sell a product a conversion rate of 5% up to 15% is okay and the closer you are to 15% that's good okay so let me write it again 5% to 50% 15% okay so um, why we need to use lead funnels when we can use sales funnels and make money out of it if you remember uh, in other sections I have mentioned that some users are uh, cold we have cold traffic we have warm traffic and we have hot traffic cold traffic are the users who don't know you who don't know your product they have no information about it okay warm um, traffic are the people who have some information about you know who you are either they know who you are or either they know your product and hot traffic are the people who really know you they know your product, they want to buy your product, they are very much interested in buying your product. So here we have 5 to 15 percent conversion rate usually, but when we use a lead, uh, lead page funnels, we can have a higher conversion rate, for example 20, 30, 50 percent conversion rate okay depending on which one you use and how you design it when we get to for example squeeze page funnels I'm gonna explain how you can design your squeeze page funnel to increase the conversion rate but anyway here you have more conversion rate in the lead okay so when you get for example when you drive cold traffic into lead funnel you get for example you drive let's say 50,000 users into the funnel, right? And by the end, you get, for example, let's say, um, let's say, for example, 20,000 emails, okay? And when you have these 20,000 emails, these are the people who subscribe to your email list, okay? More or less so they have heard about you, they saw probably they saw your product or they are in touch with you right now, okay? So you have converted from 50,000, you have converted 20,000 people from cold traffic to warm traffic, okay? Now we can put them into, for example, a sales funnel or other different funnels, for example, uh, from here, uh, depending on your product, even funnels is going to be very helpful. So if you put warm traffic into a webinar uh, or into an event funnel you're going to convert them from warm to hot and you can sell them and then you can put them into a sales funnel and you can um, make a lot of money so from lead uh, this is a good practice from lead okay you can direct to event and from event you can direct to sales funnels okay um, I'm not sure if you see it. So this is a general image of the funnels that we have, of different type of funnels that we have. And as we go forward on the next lecture, for example, I'm going to talk about just a squeeze page funnels, and I'm going to talk about every detail about it, show you how it's been done. And when we are done learning all of these, we are going to have different assignments and practices. And also after that, I'm going to show you how you can build these funnels, okay? So by now, if you know how to use, for example, a tool like WordPress or other uh, page builder or web builders out there, um, you will be able to create funnels yourself. But also there are some good tools out there that will, they will charge you 
some amount of price monthly and will give you this ability to design a funnel much easier okay so anyway that was all about the different types let's go qu really quickly let's go over it you can write these down as well you have lead for capturing some information you have a squeeze page funnel you have application funnel then we have sales funnel as uh, category number two under sales funnels we have tripwire funnel we have sales letter funnel and we have PLF or product launch funnel and category number three is event funnel which we have webinars and auto webinars okay so that was all for this part and if you're ready let's go for the next lecture where we are going to talk about squeeze page funnel okay so in this part we are going to talk about the squeeze page funnel so I'm sure you have seen this hundreds or thousands of times because it's very common and very popular everybody use it um, so let me write it here squeeze page funnel okay so what are they well generally the goal of a squeeze page funnels are to capture leads email leads phone number and um, usually let's say if there is a page okay usually it's completely blank and in the middle you see for example um, there is a window something like that uh, or a container we can say um, there is usually a title maybe one or two line description a part that you um, write the information that they want and usually a submit button okay so there is one important thing here that matters a lot and you need to master it and that is reward okay so why people should subscribe to your email list okay put yourself in your customers and your subscribers shoes and try to look at it from the other view why they should come here into this page write down their email okay why they have to do it or phone number okay you need to give them a reward okay this is important i have an example of this squeeze page funnel on my website uh, it is not a separate landing page but it is um, uh, for example squeeze page funnels they are not just a single page they are they have different types for example they have single page landing pages we have others as for example pop up okay for example you see something in a website somewhere and there is a button you click on it and a pop up will appear that it has the same thing inside it but it will make the background a bit darker so your main focus will be on this point on this window uh, that will capture your email and give you the stuff okay we also have it for example as a banner okay I have this one on my website okay um, there is a title uh, as far as I remember there is some description and image here and on the other side it's the part that you can write email and a button okay so um, there are different types to, to create this squeeze page funnel but the main system is similar you need to think about a reward on my website I have a part that I mentioned that all right I'm going to tell you a secret to increase your um, uh, engagement on your Instagram posts okay if you want to learn that write down your email address here and click on uh, sign up join or subscribe or whatever it is then I will send you in the email uh, to your email list I will send you the link of that video okay so this is one of the ways I am teaching something I am promising a reward to my um, users and if they want to learn it they can write it write their email down most website for example we have another type for example as a pop-up you are in a website and you are just going around scrolling and boom suddenly a pop-up comes okay and tell you that you can write down your email I hope you can see these things um, you can write down your email and you get a 
discount, okay? For example, 20% discount by just writing your email, okay? This is a great reward, especially if they are interested in your product or in your website, okay? So they are in your website, probably they are a little bit interested. So you can take advantage here and um, capture their emails, okay? Now, uh, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper here, okay? I'm gonna mention a couple of important things that matters here. First of all, let's talk about the title that you should have here, okay? Here we have the title, here we have the title. The title, uh, if you remember where we talked about hook, uh, story and offer, this is the part you got to hook them, okay? So it must be interesting, it must be, uh, it must create curiosity in your users, okay? For example, how to do this, okay? For example, seven ways to get something, okay? Or as I mentioned, how to, for example, increase your Instagram post engagement by 20%. And one thing, when I have something like that, for example, I have a squeeze page funnel about Instagram, okay? And people who subscribe into that email list, Let's say these are the list of the people. I know that these people like to learn more about Instagram. So if I have a, an Instagram marketing course, I can easily sell to these people. Why? Because from cold, they are warm now, okay? What I can do to make it even better is to direct these people into a webinar about Instagram and then sell it to them, okay? All right, so in general, you have to be innovative here. Now I'm making example about my courses because I do this all the time, over and over, almost every day. Um, you can do it for other things. You are selling, for example, clothes, right? Women clothes. For example, my one of my mentors, he has a, an online store for selling, um, let's say, women clothes. And uh, he is pretty much successful in that. He has this pop-up thing here to give discount. He captured a lot, a ton of email leads from there. And uh, then um, he doesn't have the webinar thing. From here, he converts them to, uh, for example, for selling clothes, it's difficult to put a webinar. You can be innovative. You can come up with some good webinars that people are interested in, but most people don't do them, they directly sell to them. So let's go deeper and talk about the other stuff. So right now, I mentioned just the titles, okay? So, and also the reward must be clear, okay? So you can put the reward inside the title, inside the description, inside the button here. Now let's talk about the button. The button, most people in general use, for example, sign up, okay? subscribe, and so on. But the thing is that people don't like these things, okay? People do not like to sign up or subscribe and so on, okay? Unless they are sure about it, unless they have to. But in general, they don't want to, okay? For example, here in this discount pop-up, you can write, um, subscribe to our email list to get 20% discount. But instead of that, on the button, you can write down, for example, get your 20% discount coupon, okay? On the button, you can write down, get your 20% discount coupon, okay? Now, it's a little bit long, but you get the idea, right? Uh, just a second, let me take a look at this website and see... Uh, what my mentor wrote there, okay? Just a second. So let's go to... All right, Dress Barn. Now, if I just go around, move around, I must get the pop-up. Yeah, and pop-ups have different triggers. Oh, I get that, okay? Unlike 50% off, and I'm gonna screenshot this and show it to you as you can see somewhere around here. Unlike 50% off, 
then this is a title in the description he wrote then take 50 percent off your first order when you sign up for our new for our newsletter and then there is a place for writing the emails and under it they didn't write sign up or subscribe even though that they mentioned you have to subscribe to our, our newsletter to our newsletter right but they wrote down claim your coupon what i have mentioned okay claim your coupon okay so this is really um these things are really advanced okay most people think all right i'm gonna make a pop-up okay i'm gonna capture email leads and i'm gonna make a lot of money out of it usually they make some mistakes that i mentioned okay they use sign up words people hate to sign up people hate to subscribe do not use those words but just try to rotate it and talk about the reward that they are going to get out of it okay claim your coupon this is very interesting and very amazing so um there is another thing that i want to mention i'm gonna be i'm gonna go out of paper soon so right now we just talked about email right now there is another thing that you can do is to capture phone number now, this is different. This is SMS marketing, short message system marketing, you can call it. Um, the reason that I meant, I'm saying this, if you can, and if it is connected to your topic, to your business, if your business is not that global and you cannot do SMS, if, and you can do SMS marketing, capture phones as well, okay? Now, of course, when you put two action at the same time, uh, for example, there is, let's say, this is a pop-up. There is a button here. Okay. And you want to capture email and phone number and then give them the reward. Okay. And you may say that, all right, if I do something like this, people usually get, uh, people, uh, when one, two step is a little bit more difficult comparing to one step, right? Here, the, for example, if they only need to write email, it is easier for them, so most people will do it. But if they want to put two things, write two things there, it's going to be more difficult, so most people, so a lot of them won't do it, okay? So what you can do to change that, okay? First of all, you can, uh, let me do this, so increase the reward. For example, here in this, um, website which I showed you there was no phone but you can do it you can increase the reward for example he, he was saying 50 percent you can do it more or you can add other things for example free shipping okay 50 percent uh, on your first order and get free shipping if you write these two okay when you increase the reward well you're giving uh, some motivation to users to complete both of them now why you need to get the phones okay Emails, depending on where you live, depending on which country you are, emails has, um, mostly people open the emails less because either they don't usually check their emails or if they do, they receive a lot of emails. For example, I myself, I have different emails and in each of them every day I receive more than 100, 200 emails. Okay, so it is very difficult for me to check all of them but on my phone i get some for example sms marketing some messages i check my phone every day okay and that message will appear right in, on my phone screen so i see uh, that uh, notification that all right something is happening this is a message from that company they want they're doing this they're doing that they have a webinar they are having uh, they will have sales for example next month at this time so most people check their phone so here on phone if you capture their phone number you will have higher conversion rate comparing to emails okay so that's why i wanted to mention this as well if you can if uh, it is possible for you if it is connected to your business if you can use phone number later capture phone number okay this is important so that was all for the squeeze page funnel and on the next part we are going to talk about application funnel it's pretty simple 
Uh, it's more or less connected to what we talked about right now, but a little bit different. I'm going to mention it on the next part. And um, try to practice, go out there right now on your favorite websites. Try to find these examples that we talked about, okay? So right now we talked about the squeeze space funnel. Go out there, spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes, check different type of uh, websites. You can, for example, go on Google, search about the topic, Check the first, for example, uh, two pages of Google, go to each website and see if you can find a school page funnel. Okay, this is a great exercise, this is a great practice. And beside that practicing, you are gonna learn a lot of new things from it, okay? So you can see, okay, this website, they have this problem on their squeeze page funnel, okay? They wrote the word subscribe, okay, people hate it. So they can if they change it, they will have higher conversion rate, right? So. Uh, don't go to the next lecture right now. Practice for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It's not going to take your time a lot. And when you are done, when you just learn a little bit more, find some, uh, when you found some examples online, then go for the next lecture where we are going to talk about um, application funnels. Okay, so that was all and I will see you in the next lecture. So in this part, we are going to talk about application funnels. If you have bought something online, usually uh, well, expensive stuff, okay, uh, not like, for example, some uh, some equipments that you can buy from Amazon, not like that, okay, some expensive stuff from a firm or from uh, maybe expensive services, usually over five hundred, over one thousand dollar, they usually use application funnel, and the way it works is that you go to a website and you're looking for a service, okay? So you are not usually a cold traffic, you are warm traffic. You go to a website, you wanna do something, they will direct you to application. Application uh, funnel, okay? Now, the thing that happens is that you come here, there are a lot of stuff to write down, a lot of information they ask from you, okay? And from there, they will contact you, okay? Contact you later. Which means that later, they're gonna sell that, let's say, $1,000 product to you, okay? So, for example, I had this experience before, I have contacted different, for example, um, law, law firms, I wanted them to do something for me and for example an evaluation or some other stuff there was a form, I filled the form, it took for example usually 10-20 minutes to fill these forms and after that they will contact you through email or they will call you and uh, try to convince you to buy this $1,000 product meaning if you have $1,000, $2,000, $10,000 product if you just put it right there in this uh, store on your website and people come and say, all right, this is 2,000, look, let's pay 2,000. Usually that doesn't work, okay? You need an application funnel, you need to capture information, and then later you have to contact them over email. Usually emails, it's not very successful in this case. Usually call, they will call you. And during the call, you have to convince them to buy the product. So during that call, you have to use, you have to create the Lollapalooza effect using different card marketing cognitive biases to convince them. Okay. So I'm not going to get really deep into it because on e-commerce, usually we don't use it that much. As I said, it's uh, for expensive products and for different uh, for some specific type of businesses out there. Okay? But you can search more about it uh, to see uh, how you can create a funnel like this, what information you should ask. For example, same as the previous lecture, which we had a uh, practice, and I told you go out there and find a squeeze page funnels. Right now you can go out there and find application funnels, but uh, it will be more difficult because a lot of businesses don't use it. And uh, you can search about law firms in different countries and usually law firms have application funnels, okay? So you can go there and check it out and more or less that would be all for the application funnel. On the next part, 
We are gonna start the sales funnel, the three different sales funnels, which are tripwire funnels, sales letter funnels, and product launch funnel. Okay, so that was all for this lecture, and uh, I will see you in the next one. All right, so welcome to the next lecture where we are going to talk about uh, the first type of sales funnel, which we call it tripwire funnel. Now, this one is one of my favorites. I, I really like it because it's, it gives you the ability to sell products, well, usually cheap products. Let me just write it down here. So in this part, we're gonna talk about tripwire um, funnel. Okay, so this funnel is usually for the products between less than, for example, and write it here, ten dollar. Okay, so if you have a product, usually around this, if you have a product with from, for example, five to fifteen dollar, you can use tripwire funnel. And um, let's get into it. It's really interesting. And so what do we have here? We have started tripwire, tripwire funnel with the landing page. There aren't much at the top. For example, you have the logo. Maybe you have a contact us, okay. A button. And here, you generally, you have, for example, it's one of the most common uh, forms out there. On the left side, for example, you have some information about the product, okay, info. But here, uh, it's usually like this, that there are two steps, step, for example, one and two. And on the step one, you add, for example, your personal information, email, name, and so on. Then you have button here, go to the next step. And on the next step, when you are here, on the second step, you have to add your credit card. Uh, and usually, for example, select the shipping type and so on and buy the product, okay? So this is how a tripwire funnel works, but we can go deeper into it. We can make more money with it. So you drive the traffic here. This is traffic. And it is better to be warm traffic at least. So the warm traffic comes here. And let's say you have a $10 product. And if you have, let's say, if you direct, for example, 100 people and you have a 15% conversion rate, meaning 15 people will buy the product, out of it you're gonna make how much? I'm um, sorry, $150, okay? $150 you're gonna make from it. Now, how we can increase this? Now, there are the things that I, I am telling you right now, it's a little bit more advanced. And usually it is much more difficult to find these uh, strategies anywhere else. So anyway, pay more attention to this, these parts. So you are driving 100 people, 15% conversion rate, you get $150. How we can increase that? To this, for example, you have one product, it says $10. To this we call, um, Average card value, okay? Average card value. Now, how we can increase the average card value? Right now, with the system that I just mentioned, it's not gonna be less or more than $10, okay? There is no other option here. And let's say you run ads, and for every single person you drive here, you are spending, uh, let's do it this way. For every user who buy your product, you are spending, let's say, $25, okay? $25, you are running ad, you spend $25, so you can sell a $10 product. Now, in this way, you are losing money, right? Every single sales you have, you are losing $15. How you can do that, how you can fix it, with increasing the average, card value. You must increase that average card value. How you can do it? Usually, if you have uh, seen different tripwire funnels, you will see that there is something here, okay? This is called order bump, okay? 
And beside that, it is uh, order bump. It is one other thing, which is very famous. OTO, which stands for one time offer. So the user come here, you're gonna sell ten dollar product, and then here you mention that okay, we have another product which is cost for example fifty dollar, and it is one time offer only. You can only buy it right now, right here. There's no other place. And all you have to do is to check this box. Okay, so this is how you are going to increase your average card value. This is one of the ways. Now, what will happen is that from that 15%, meaning, for example, 15 people, maybe three of them, four of them, five of them buy this $50, okay, product. And this way, you are going to have, you're going to increase your average card value. Now, this is one of the things. Then the other thing is that instead of going from here to the thank you page, we go to another page which is called um, upsell, okay? Upsell, for example, one. You go to another page and it is tell you, okay, we have another product. It is like this, like this, like this, and there's a buy button, there are more information, you come down, buy button, more information, and so on, same thing. So this one should be more expensive than $10. For example, let's say $70, okay? And if you know how to do the pricing, uh, well, it's not good to put it as a $70 product, it's better to put it as $67 product, okay? This will have more conversion than this one. Psychological pricing perspective. Anyway, you go, you direct the user to upsell one, okay? If they buy it or if they don't buy it, then you can also direct them to page, to another page, which is upsell number two, okay? And go on. Usually some businesses have only one upsell. They don't want to annoy the customer. Usually some businesses have up to three or four upsells. I usually stick around two upsells, okay? Now, if I make, we want to make another examples from upsells, when you go, for example, to a fast food, you buy a burger, okay, you order a burger, they ask you that, all right, do you want a cola, okay? Yes, okay, if you want a cola, for example, the burger itself may cost, for example, $2, okay? You buy a cola, which is, for example, for example, big glass of cola, which sometimes may cost, for example, two, another two dollar also do you want for example barbecue sauce or cheese sauce do you want that okay another for example three dollar let's say and so on these are all upsells okay but in the traditional way in a classic way right now on the internet you have to do it this way okay so the important things here is order bump if you have it, this, these are the ways that you're going to make profit out of it, okay? Without usually order bump, without upsells, um, the money that you spend, the customer's acquisition cost will be high and the money that you will make from selling the product will be low. So that is why your business is not going to make a lot of money and you're going to fail, okay? But if you consider these options, if you pay attention on Amazon, it also exists, okay? You want to buy a product and it is like this that for example you go on amazon this is the page this is the for example product image some description some for example buy button and then under it it usually shows you that usually people buy this product with this one with this one which is cost this much dollar okay okay this is upsell but in another way okay and you can be innovative, you can create different styles, but these are the styles that right now exist out there on the internet. And uh, if you are smart enough, if you just use the same system, um, you're going to be successful in it, okay? So, I'm not going to go deeper than we are right now. I think we have talked about a lot of things. And again, go out there, go on Amazon, go on other platforms, try to find these things, try to find tripwire funnels examples out there, okay? So, that was all for this lecture. On the next part, we're gonna talk about sales letter funnel. That one is also interesting. And I myself 
have used it a lot of times. Okay, so that was all for this lecture and I will see you on the next one. In this lecture, we are going to talk about um, sales letter funnel, okay? It is more or less very close to tripwire funnel, but let's talk about it, okay? So in tripwire funnel, it was very simple. We had a simple form here and some information about the product, okay? That would be all. It wouldn't be a long page, there wouldn't be other things. But sales letter funnel is usually for the product between $10 up to, for example, $100, okay? I have seen some people use sales letter funnel for, for example, a $500 product, a $200 product, and it is working, okay? It depends on the business, it depends on the market, it depends on your niche and the rest of the other elements around it. But usually it's around this number, okay? So if you have a product which worth, for example, $67 or $97, you can use sales letter funnel. So how it will look? This is your page and for example, you have a title here, you have usually a video here, you have some more information and some images maybe about the product. You have a buy button, okay, but not buy. For example, you can have receive your, like the, exam, the other example that you have, get your coupon, okay, claim your coupon. This can be the same, okay. You need to be innovative here and come up with good um, sentences or texts or phrases which works better than buy, okay. So you have another image, more information, then you have, for example, maybe some features about your product. Then you may have, for example, some testimonials, okay? That people said these about this product, okay? Maybe some videos that customers made from using your product, okay? Every single information that help users to make a decision to buy the product, you must add it here, okay? That is why I didn't close it. It's a sales letter, okay? You can go as long as you want. You can go very deep, uh, write many things about it. This is one of the places that you can use twaddle tendency, okay? You can write a lot about your product, about the features, about the advantages, about the uh, disadvantages of other products in the market, about, uh, you can use different cognitive biases, people's testimonials, uh, people are using the products. For example, when I want to buy a product on Amazon, I usually go down, I take a look at the reviews, then I take a look at the images or videos that uh, other customers upload it, okay? These are the informa these are the useful information. So if you want to be successful at this part, take a look at some successful websites who are selling really good, okay? So more or less I can say on Amazon, every single product page is somehow a sales letter funnel. Even though that the prices are different, but they are giving a lot, a huge ton of information about it, okay? We have customer review, co uh, product features, um, product description, uh, about weight, about the dimensions, about many things, okay? Everything that a customer, a user may need to make this decision that shall I buy this product or not, you have to provide it here, okay? So the rest is similar as before. They buy it, you direct them to upsell one, okay? And from here you will continue again. Upsell one, two, and so on, okay? And finally two, thank you page. Okay, so uh, does it make sense? Is it clear for you? Again, you can go out there, find some examples and practice before we go to before we go to the next part. Okay, so on the next lecture, we are going to talk about product launch funnel. That one is also interesting, but it is for more expensive products. Okay, uh, usually above one uh, five hundred one thousand dollar products. Okay, so that was all for this lecture, and if you are ready, let's go for the next one. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about product launch funnel. Now it's, you know, in general, all of these funnels are very close to each other, but um, they have some differences. So here 
usually you have to do product launch funnel through email marketing. So you have P product launch funnel, okay? This is what we're gonna talk. So you have the email, okay, of your user or potential customer, okay? So what you do is to, every day you will send them an email and every day, for example, on day one, let's say day one, you will direct these people to a landing page, which includes, a, for example, video, and it talks about your product, okay? Some features, some of the needs of the customers, for example, you can start with a story. We talked about it before in hook, story, and offer. This is the part that you need to talk about the story, okay? So this is video one, and from here, again, day two, you go for the next one. And also on your emails, you can talk about it. If you want to learn more, click on this page, view the video and so on. So this is video number two, and it is on day two, okay? And you go this way for day three, and usually after day three, you have the launch day, okay? Launch, product launch day. And here, uh, Go this, okay? And here, you need to uh, direct your traffic toward the sales page, okay? Um, you need to direct them to the checkout page that, all right, this is the product, this is, these are all the information, and here you can write down your credit card, shipping, and buy, okay? So, uh, and from here, again, same as before, what? upsell one, sell two, and so on, okay? So this is how you're gonna use a product launch funnel. You gotta capture their email list using, for example, squeeze page funnel, and uh, from there, you can start doing email marketing every day, send them a video about the product, build a story. Okay, I was like this, this happened to me, and I try to make it uh, more emotional. People respond good to emotions, okay? I'm not saying to fake some story, but in all of our lives, we have some stories that end up using something or doing something, and inside it, if you pay attention, you will find emotions there, okay? Or I was doing this, I was so frustrated, it was so tough for me, I couldn't figure it out, I went there, I did this, I did that, and finally, Suddenly, after some time, after this thing happened, I get it, I found my answer, and boom, right now I'm okay, okay? So, um, this is how you have to do it, all right? I'm not gonna go deeper into each of these pages, you already know this stuff, okay? And uh, more or less, that's all about the product launch funnel. You have to start it right before launching the product, obviously. And when the product is ready, when the product is out, you can have a lot of sales, okay? So, that was all for this lecture. And on the next part, we are going to talk about the next category of funnels, which are events. Very, very important. I know a lot of people out there making ton of money from event uh, funnels, okay? So, that was all. And if you're ready, let's go for the next lecture. All right, so welcome to the next part where we are going to talk about the event funnel. Now, an event funnel, we have two types. The first type is um, webinar and the second type is auto webinar. I'm going to mention them in different, in, separated, uh, in separate lectures. So right now, let's talk about the webinar funnel. Now, the webinar funnel, as I said, I know a lot of people making ton of money from it. So when you should use a webinar funnel, okay? Uh, it's better to drive the warm traffic toward webinar, webinar funnel. And usually, um, let's say this is your traffic, okay? You drive this traffic to a landing page, okay? In this landing page, you are going to capture some information and give them a reservation for your funnel, okay? So for example, this webinar, for your uh, webinar, this webinar is free, and you want to talk about how to blah, blah, okay? 
that's up to you. Give a reward there, who are gonna, and also at, by the end we are gonna give this reward, that reward, and so on. Okay, so the higher the reward, the more conversion you will have, the more conversion rate you will have on your traffic signing up for your webinar. So what you do here, you will capture the email, the name, and so on. Email, name, um, name, okay. And they, you tell them that, all right, tomorrow at this hour, at this time, or for example, at this date, this hour, we are gonna have the webinar. And what will happen the day of the webinar comes, you send a couple of emails before the webinar begins. And for example, when the, the webinar itself starts, you send another email that the webinar has just started. Don't miss out. So a lot of people, because sometimes, for example, you have 1000 subscribers in this email list that they want to see the webinar. But only, for example, 50% of them will show up, okay, if you are lucky. And I will tell you how you can fix that as well. So, people come to your webinar, they start watching it, so you start the story, you talk about the stuff, the problems, and go on and go on and go on. Finally, you get to the sales part. At the end of it, at the beginning, you mentioned that by the end, I'm going to give you something very valuable, something like this, something like that. And so they wait for it. Okay. And also one of the things that you can motivate people to watch the webinar till the end, you can give other rewards as well. Okay. Uh, for those people who watch the webinar till the end, at the end, we are going to um, randomly give, for example, this prize to three people. Okay, to motivate them. Or I'm gonna ask a question from what I have said during the webinar. And uh, to the people who can answer it, I give, for example, $100, okay, to the first three people, for example. Anyway, at the end, you say that, all right, I have a product, and this is the link. For example, you can click on the link, or go to this link, and buy the product, okay? So during this story, you need to warm them up. You need to um, show them the value of your product that, okay, this thing that I'm selling it to you, uh, it's very valuable. It's like this, it's like that, okay? You have to master this by practicing, okay? By doing a lot of webinars over and over. And also you can join other uh, websites, webinars, see what they are doing, how they are doing, especially connected to your own niche, okay? And after that, you will sell the product, and again, what? You must know the answer right now, okay? The next step is what? Upsell, always upsell, okay? So this is how uh, webinars work, okay? And on the next lecture, I'm gonna tell you about auto webinar. It's very similar to this one, but with some small differences. And actually, this webinar is live, okay? So you have to do it all over and over. If you have, for example, 10 webinar events in the month, you have to go in front of camera or whoever want to do the, uh, for example, webinar, they must go in front of camera like I am right now and speak about it, talk about it, uh, warm up the users and sell them the product, okay? So that was all for this part. And on the next lecture, I'm gonna talk about the auto webinars, okay? So that would be all, and I will see you in the next one. All right, so during the previous lecture, we have talked about the webinar, the event funnel, and we talked about the webinar type, and now let, let's talk about the auto webinar. So I'm gonna start with an example. It's almost exactly the same thing. You drive the traffic, you capture the email leads, okay? Then you show them a webinar, then during that webinar you sell them the product and upsell. It's exactly the same, okay? But you have to do it another way. Now, there was a there was someone um, selling uh, some type of courses and she was making uh, she was making something around, if I'm not mistaken, something around two million dollar per year, okay? And only two million dollar. And the only way she was doing that, she had one product, okay? one of these, she didn't have any upsell, okay, one product. Uh, and also she had a very good, uh, she had a very good Pinterest profile, so a lot of traffic from there, okay. So this is, for example, Pinterest, okay, from Pinterest, 
uh, he, she had a lot of posts, okay, lot of posts with each of them had a lot of call to actions. And from here, she drove them to different landing pages or same landing pages on her website, okay? But these landing pages, all of them had one thing in common right at the top. Let me show it here. Right at the top, she had a form, okay? A form that she was talking about the problem and if you want to solve that problem, okay? Fill out your email and so on and join this webinar, okay? And we have, and after you click here, it will ask you for different times that we have this webinar. We have it, for example, in two hours, we have it tomorrow at this hour and tomorrow at that hour. So um, you will select the one which is more convenient for you and you will wait, okay? And also, for example, this post was about Instagram marketing. After the user come to this landing page, after this part which captures email, uh, which captured the email of the user, then it was talking about that uh, topic. Anyway, you select the time which is uh, better for you and you get emails that, all right, you have reserved your spot for this webinar and before that webinar starts, you receive another email and when the webinar starts, you receive another email and all of this is automated. From diff there are different tools out there for auto webinars, you, ha you can search it in Google and find them out. I don't remember them right now. But anyway, so, um, and when you get here to this video, it was recorded before, okay? So it is a, for example, 30 minutes, 45 minutes video recorded before, which usually in these type of auto webinars, you are, for example, talking about three secrets, okay? of something, okay? Uh, how to do this, how to do that, okay? You are sharing something. So you start from the beginning, the same system. You talk about, the, we are trying to deliver value, that right, you can do this, you can do that, and uh, this is way one, this is way two, this is way three, but this is not the whole. This is not all of it, okay? If you want all of it, I have another product which it includes not only this, but th hundreds of other stuff inside it. It will have this one, that one, and only it is available. I'm gonna just open the sales right now during the next 15 second, 15 minutes that we are on the live call. Uh, you can start buying the product, okay? So the time is passing and um, during the last, for example, 10 or 15 minutes of the webinar, he or she starts to sell you the product, okay? And this is done all automatically. You need to set it once, you need to set it right, only for one time, and it's gonna work for you for some time, it's gonna generate a lot of money for you, okay? This was how that person which I mentioned, she was making $2 million every year. Okay, you may look at it, oh, it's so simple. Yes, it's simple. Usually most people don't know about these secrets, these strategies, and uh, that is why it is hard for them to get to these numbers. Anyway, this was uh, what I wanted to share about auto webinars. It's the same thing as webinars, but with some tweaks. And that would be all for this lecture. And on the next part, um, let's talk about the winning offer, okay? Uh, let's talk about that and after that we're gonna have other lectures connected to the funnels and then we're gonna have some practices and exercises, okay? So, that was all for this lecture and if you're ready, let's go for the next one. Okay, so how are you doing? Have you learned new things till now? I hope that you did and I also hope you have practiced what we have talked about till now. Anyway, as I promised, in this part, I'm going to talk about the winning offer. Now, you know out there, you know the market, there are a lot of competitors out there, high competitions, it's difficult to make money, it's difficult to build a business and become successful. And right now I'm gonna give you some tips that will help you making more money, becoming more successful, selling your product, preparing a better offer for your users, okay? so. 
Um, what is a winning offer? Have you thought about that before? What is a winning offer? A winning offer, well, it's a an offer that convinces users to buy your product comparing to the other products out there in the market. This is a winning offer. Now, how you can create a winning offer? Usually, um, we call this unboxing as well, okay? Usually, you have um, the main product, okay? This is what you have and you want to sell it now when you want to sell your product there are usually two there are more but right now i'm going to focus on two of these areas that you can work on to be more successful one of them is price and the other one is value now you can either lower your price and offer the same thing i'm for example offering um this marker to you for, for example, $1. And this guy here is doing the same thing, offering the same product to you, but not $1. For example, 80 cents, okay? So you see these two offer side by side. Of course, you're gonna buy this one usually, okay? So you can decrease the price to provide a better offer to your customers, or you can increase the value. This is the part that I really like. You can make your value, make your pro, your offer way more valuable that people cannot com uh, compete with you, okay? So you have the main product and you need to think about it. What else I can provide beside this product, okay? For example, a couple of years ago, I bought a camera, okay? So it was the camera itself. I could buy, buy it, for example, for a price like I don't remember exactly, but let's say $500. And there was other offers in the market with, for example, 500, um, let's say $19. But it wasn't only the camera, it was a small bag, it was some other, for example, lens cleaning stuff. There were other stuff in the package only for $19 or more, okay? So what was happening there is that I was telling myself that, all right, if I buy a camera, I need to buy a bag for it too. I need to buy all of these stuff for on my own and it's gonna be more expensive. So I bought this product. What was happening is that this guy here was selling the camera, this guy wasn't selling the camera, okay? So this is the difference. This is where you can uh, provide a better offer to your to users and convince them to buy your product comparing to your competitors, okay? So you have to come up with other stuff, think about it, that how you can make your product more valuable. In my case, for example, I'm not gonna suggest a single course about, for example, sales funnels or about Facebook marketing. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put it in a nice, bigger package that not only it includes that product but other products connected to that one instagram marketing advertisements sales funnels um, marketing cognitive biases website web design web persuasion and a lot of other things okay all right yeah i'm delivering value i'm giving a good product to my users but i also I'm offering a better deal, okay? My offer is better comparing to the other offers, so why not people take it and both maybe have the same product, and both maybe have the same price, right? So, for example, in my case, I can give the product, I can give a PDF that many people may want it. I can give, for example, live calls, okay? and a lot of other things, okay? Now, this way, I can design a better and good-looking offer which compete with my competitors and usually win, okay? So, this is a winning offer. This is how you have to, this is the mindset that you must have to design a winning offer. So, next time that you wanna sell something, take a look at what your competitors are doing, okay? 
For example, you can work on the shipping, okay, one day shipping, free shipping, right? There are a lot of areas that you can focus on and improve your offer, okay? It's not just one or two. The thing that I just talked about, it wasn't only one or two examples here, okay? So again, I want you to spend some time here, go out there, make a research about your com competitors and try to uh, understand that, all right, what are they doing exactly, okay? What is their offer and where I can improve my offer, on which spots they have some weaknesses that I can provide a better offer, okay? So think about that. It's very um, helpful to have a successful business, to have a successful sales and get to the goals that you have for your business, okay? So that was all about the winning offer. And the next part, I'm going to talk about um, something which is connected to the theory of um, hook story and offer. And uh, it's interesting. I, I think you're gonna like it, okay? So that was all for this part and I will see you in the next lecture. All right, so in this part, we are going to talk about um, how you can uh, design a better hook story and offer and connected it to the funnels that you have. So, well, it's, we're going to call this a reverse engineer, how you can, because most people have problems and they struggle a lot with how they should design. For example, they know their offer, or at least in the previous lecture, we talked about it. They know their offer. It's hard for them to come up with a good story and come up with a good hook. Now we are going to do a reverse, reverse engineer, meaning we are going to, instead of here, we're going to start from the offer. Now we have designed our offer, okay? We have a winning offer in our hand. How we can get back to the story? You have to think back and see how yourself get to this offer, okay? For example, why did I, right now I'm teaching marketing, I am creating marketing business, and uh, self-development courses. How did I get to these products, okay? How did I get to these offers myself? So for example, for marketing, the story that I had uh, was that back then, a couple of years ago, I started my own company, video gaming company, and we started to create our product and we uh, published that game and we didn't have sales, okay? And our first game, we didn't have any sales. Okay, it was, um, it was really difficult. We didn't know where we are going wrong. And somehow I knew that there should be a problem about marketing because we weren't doing anything about that. And I started to dig, to search from here, from there, finding mentors, finding people who can teach me how I can fix this problem. I learned a little, and on our second game, uh, when we released it, well, we didn't make a lot of money, but we made some money from advertisements. So it was, well, we got better at that, but still it wasn't enough. So I knew that I was on the right track. And on this third game we released, I know mostly what I had to do. So we had a lot more sales, okay? We had, uh, for example, sales from our shop. We had, uh, we had made a lot of money from showing ads and so on. So that was how I learned marketing and I found out my mistakes in selling my digital product and I fixed it, okay? So this was the story for me behind creating these marketing courses, okay? Now, if you go back yourself and think about the product that you want to sell, you can more or less come up with a good story about it. Either you yourself, for example, even uh, you may say that, all right, I'm an affiliate and I'm going to sell someone else's product. That's okay. You can come up with a good story connected to that as well. For example, I was, back then, I wanted to learn marketing, so I was searching for uh, a good mentor, a good course, and then I found this product and then I used it and made a lot of money, okay? So this is a story, okay? It's not your product, it's your just, uh, talking about the story that how you found that product and now you are selling the same product to other people, okay? 
So uh, there is no excuse here that, all right, I'm not a product owner or I'm a product owner, I'm not an athlete. There is no excuse here. It's all the same, okay? So from here, you can come up with a good story. And from a story, you can come up with a good hook. That's all right. So the main topic it was that in my case that I was uh, having problems selling my video games. So what did I do? I went there, I did this, okay. So I can find some interesting spot that create curiosity. Okay, I'm gonna write it down. Curiosity. And I can use that curiosity in my hook. Okay, so this is how you should go back from your offer to find out about the story and find out about the hook. This is the reverse engineer that will help you fix this problem. Okay, so that was all for this lecture. I hope that you have enjoyed and learned a lot of new things about what we have talked about till now during this section, which it was about funnels, different type of it, different strategies and tweaks which can help you a lot to have an online to have a successful e-commerce system okay so that was all and if you're ready let's go for the next one